Congratulations. You reached affiliate. Or maybe you're about to reach affiliate. <laughs> I literally couldn't have cut that better even if I tried. Guess. <laughs> if you've recently just hit affiliate or you're about to hit affiliate, you're probably going to be pretty excited about the monies. The monies was going to be so rich from all the monies. In this video, I'm going to give you the lowdown on what it's like to go through the process of becoming an affiliate and, of course, receiving your first ever Twitch payment, what to expect, how it all works, what share of each of the revenues you get from the bits the subs and all that kind of stuff. I've recently been through the process of hitting affiliate. I feel like my experience could be quite useful for you guys to know, particularly if you're about to go through the same process that I've quite recently been through as well. So what to expect from this video? In this video, I'll show you what revenue shares you get, what the earning potentials will be. And then of course, I will share some of my own income from Twitch as well, just to give you a feel for how that works. When you get paid, how you get paid, how much of it Twitch takes away from you. You are left with some money at the end of it. So I am Machine Dana. I hope you're doing really, really well. Well, thanks again for tuning into the video. If you do find this useful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up on the video. If you want to subscribe, feel free to. And if you want to ask me any questions whatsoever, feel free to visit me at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. Let's go. Okay, so first off, to hit affiliate, you've probably seen this before, but there it is. That's what you've got to do. You've got to reach 50 followers. You've got to stream for eight hours within a 30-day period. You've got to stream on seven different days within a 30-day period. And you've got to reach an average concurrent viewership of three viewers within a 30-day period. When you want to step that up to partner, you need to get to 75 concurrent viewers, stream for 25 hours, and stream on 12 different days within a 30-day period. Me personally, I found it pretty easy to get the average viewership, but I struggled with the followers because I wasn't begging for followers or doing any follow for follow bullshit. So I actually just, you know, just gamed and stuff. I just tried to create some actual good content to entice people in. So once you reach affiliate, you can then get paid from Amazon. So what are the ways you can get paid money for being an affiliate? You can immediately start to get subscribers once you agree to the affiliate terms and conditions and fill out the tax interview. Don't be too worried about the tax interview and agreeing their terms and conditions. The terms and conditions are quite straightforward. I'm a contracts guy for the best part of 15 years. I've been a sales and commercial guy and I've read like thousands and thousands of contracts. The Twitch terms and conditions are actually relatively straightforward. The tax interview takes something like 10, 15 minutes. So once you've ascended from being just a lowly non-affiliate pleb to a champion affiliate, you can earn money through paid subs, through prime subs, gifted subs, multi-month gifted subs, advertising, cheering through extensions and through other bits of interactions, uh, game sales and bounties not so much. I think that's more of a partner thing and I'll go through these briefly one by one. Paid subs, that's when somebody on their own backs pays to subscribe to you. But you will get a share of what they pay and Amazon will take a share as well. Prime subs, if somebody chooses to to use their Amazon Prime to subscribe to you, which means they get all the benefits of being your subscriber, but they don't actually have to pay the money, but you get money from that. So this is just a way for Amazon to really keep Prime in the minds of people. You're not actually in Amazon's products other than, well, Twitch is kind of their product, but it's not like the movie. They're not sending things out to you. How do you explain it? They're just giving away free stuff, basically, but doing it in a way that means that you're going to probably spend a lot more money with Amazon in the long run. They're basically shackling you to the table at the their offices in Amazon's HQ. Yeah, that's the best way to put it. That's what a prime sub is. Gifted subs, that's when somebody else will pay on your channel and gift subs to your community. They can choose who they give the sub to or it'll gift it randomly. Multi-month gifted subs when somebody can gift multi-month gifted subs as the name is implied. So somebody can choose to gift a sub that reoccurs for someone for a number of months. Advertising, this is where you'll get a share of the advertising revenue. Plot twist, the amount that you get is really not that much when you first start off. Cheering, which is essentially an, a Twitch currency, which you probably already know about. Uh, extensions, that's using extensions on your channel that directly generate bits revenue for you. Let's briefly now go through what you're actual share is of these. I am going to share exactly what my earnings have been from Twitch and the four months since I've been partner. The reason is because I think for the sake of transparency, you'll get a feel for the levels of earnings that you can make in a time period in relation to each other as much as in relation to the whole value of it. And my hope is that people from this can take away a more reasonable expectation about what you can earn from affiliate. So here we have the sub tiers on their costs. If you're in the UK, it's 4.99 for a 
tier one subscription. It's $9.99 for a tier two subscription and it's $24.99 for a tier three subscription. The split for an affiliate is 50-50. So you literally get half of that revenue. If you become a partner, the split then comes to 70-30. However, what I would say there is a lot of the partners do actually negotiate their agreements. And I think the more subscribers you have and the bigger you become as a partner, the more weight you have. So basically, if you get big, you can throw your dick around a little bit. You may get a couple of people that subscribe at a tier two or a tier three basis, but the vast majority, I would say probably 90 to 95% of your subscribers will be tier one. Prime subs are sold at virtually the same price. I think there's an ever so slight different price fluctuation there. And also some of the prime subs can be held, but you're gonna get around about two pounds 50 or around about $3 for every prime subscription that you do have. Gifted subs, exactly the same thing. Multi-month gifted subs, you do get the multiple revenue for, for the multiple months, but I think they stagger out when you get that payment across the multiple months. You don't get the payments up front. It's a bit frustrating. If someone's already paid Amazon for 12 months of subscribers for one of your viewers, really, They've already got the money there, so you should really get it, but I don't know, whatever. We'll quickly get into advertisements here. If you click on the preferences tab here on the affiliate section here, you'll see what the CPMs are. The flat revenue share for affiliates is $3.50, which is a cost per milli. Cost per milli, if you didn't know, is a cost per thousand views or impressions. They have split it out between group A, B and C territories. I don't really know why they've done that. I think at some point in the future, there may be higher value advertising territories than others. So I think they're future proofing this. So group A being Canada, the UK and the States, group B being most of Europe, Group C being everywhere else. And you might look at this and think, right, okay, that's not a lot. And you'd be absolutely right. You're really not getting a lot of money here. We don't know the exact detail, but there is some information out there if you look for it. Many of the people that have this information are under NDA, non-disclosure agreements, and they're not allowed to directly disclose, but they do talk about roughly what it's likely to be. So there is an information here. There's a pretty high chance that Amazon are selling the advertising at at least 20 to $50 cost per milli. So there's a substantial amount of money that Amazon is holding back here for themselves. However, the thing to bear in mind here is that the platform itself does have costs. Twitch is free to people to use. On the one hand, you can say they're being greedy. On the other hand, you can say it's the cost of running a free platform. The advertising is one of the big earners that helps them keep that free for you, for me, for you and you and you. Cheering is an interesting one because Twitch tells people that you get to keep all of the revenue from the cheers. And that is kind of technically true. Amazon don't take a cut of the bits cheering, but it's not actually true because they've, they've already taken the money through the conversion process. It's very convenient for you to just type a word and a number and give money to someone. That's awesome. Uh, and it's great for the hype trains and all that kind of thing, scam trains. The reality is on this, they do take the money up front. It's front loaded. And I'll explain exactly why now very briefly. So I'm now gonna put the costs on screen for the desktop prices of bits, of buying bits in the UK. The more bits that you buy, the more bits you actually get for your money. The problem with that is, as with anything, the more of it you've got, the more of it you're likely to use. So it's a psychological thing. Even though you get up to a 12% discount, Count if you buy 25,000 bits, the reality is you're probably going to give those bits away much more quickly. For 500 bits, it's £6.81. So if we do a quick calculation here, £6.81 divided by 500, 1p and 36. You're actually paying 1.36p per bit, which in dollars is going to be more like one81 Sense. However, Amazon only pay a conversion rate of one to one. So if you're not taking any discount by buying in bulk, that's a little bit more nasty when you then look at the dollar rate as well, because it's more like an extra 80% uplift on the profit that they're taking on those bits if you allow for currency exchange rates as well. I'll do a more detailed video about this, but the long story short is you think you're probably getting the bits 100% of the price, but the reality is Twitch is taking the money as they convert it. They're taking a lot, actually. It's quite a lot. Now I'm just going to put up on screen the mobile cost as well. It gets even more expensive on mobile. You're paying something like 60 or 70% more just to buy it on mobile. I don't know why they do that. I, I guess just the convenience of it. It doesn't matter as a streamer, if you're an affiliate, whether someone's bought on mobile or if someone has bought from desktop, you only get $1 for one bit. And now we get into extensions. There are various different extensions you can get that provide you with bits in exchange for interactions with the extensions. A typical example of that would be text to speak, voice commands, or even soundboards and things like that. Uh, you get the bits for that. The developer of the application will take a small cut. Typically,
typically 10 to 20% cut. However, the benefit there is that the viewer is getting better value for money when they give the bits to you. We're actually getting some sort of sound alert or a sticker or something stupid and bizarre that someone's developed. I would strongly recommend getting some of these extensions because they do make the, the stream a lot more fun. They give more options for somebody to support you. Now we get to where you actually see that payment information. To navigate to the payment information, you simply need to click down on your profile picture and go to the created dashboard. Once you're on the created dashboard here, you can click into insights and channel analytics. You'll see a revenue section as well, which breaks down the revenue per day or per month or per week. Just move my camera out of the way. Ooh, transition. You can change the, the view here and you can also select here a date range so I can go all the way back to my very first stream on the 9th of May and update the data. You can see it in day, week, or month view. Where you actually see payment information, if you scroll down, they do they do sometimes change the navigation of this. It might look slightly different because they literally tweak around with it all the time. This is where you see that information and you can click on view my payouts on here to get more detailed information about the payouts. If you want to see the breakdown of revenue on a daily basis, you can simply click on revenue here. If you don't see this here, you can click down and select revenue. And again, you can then split that by week or by month. Now, the first thing I want to just point out here, and, and this is just from the data that you can see of mine here, it's very, very sporadic when you first start off. And the reason for that is when you first start off, you're still building up some critical mass and that critical mass can like flatten out the data a little bit. Until you build up critical mass, you don't have enough viewers, bits, contributions and all that kind of stuff to really flatten out that data. And therefore, you will get days where you get make a lot of money and days where you might not make any money or very little money. The hope is that as you progress and you get more and more viewers, you almost like de-risk your channel and of course if you subscribe to my channel you'll learn how to be a better streamer so you know hit the subscribe button below my best day so far has been uh, $90 in a single day thanks to some very generous people on my channel but even recently I've had days where I've made like a single cent and that was made from advertising. Just to give you a feel and a flavor for the proportion of revenue that you might expect to get between gifted subs, bits, advertising, I just wanna show the revenue itself. So I've made around about a thousand pounds in the three or four months since I was affiliate. My very first stream was on the 9th of March and I think I got affiliate on the 1st of July, four months. So I've probably averaged around about $250 per month, which, it's not great, but it's not bad either. It's it's I think it's fairly average. There are some people that definitely make a lot more than that. People with talent. <laughs> But just looking at the ratio of payments, by far the two biggest revenue generators on the channel are cheering with basically a third and gifted subs with another third. So the next largest is paid subs. So this is when people are choosing to pay money to support your channel on a monthly subscription basis. And the hope is that somebody that gets gifted a subscription will also then convert that to a paid subscription if you do a good enough job as a broadcaster to make them stay, i.e. shackle them to the desk don't let them leave. Ram your content down their throats. And as you can see, by far and away, the lowest is multi-month gifted subs. Often people gifting subs won't gift multi-month subs. Uh, in fact, I think it might have even been me that gifted those multi-month subs to my own wife. <laughs> <laughs> and then also advertising. When you're first starting off, you simply do not have enough viewers to generate a lot of advertising revenue. I'm not sure what the actual advertising cost per milli CPM is for partners. I suspect it's a lot higher. So that just gives you an idea of my own revenue, how it's been split. So now you're probably going to want a little bit more information about how you get paid, when you get paid, what conditions need to be met, tax and all that kind of stuff. And I'll briefly touch on those things as well, just to round off the video. You can click in the My Payout section and that's where you'll see the actual payouts. Now to get paid from Twitch, you have to have hit at least $100. Twitch will not pay you if you've got $70, $80, $10, $20 dollars sat in your Twitch account, okay? It's a very practical reason. There are fees and processing and handling costs and things like that. And also just the volume of transactions already is very high for Twitch. If they're making payments regularly for people for $10, $20, $30, even though that might be a lot of money to you, to Amazon, they don't really care. It's calculated on a monthly basis and then it's paid usually around about the 12th of each month. And you can see here like, a, an exported Excel spreadsheet to download that information and provide it to your accountant. All revenue that you make from Twitch will be subject to taxation and that's very much dependent on
on the country that you live in, the rates that you pay, your own other earnings that you have. I'm not going to give you tax advice. I strongly recommend reading up on this. So you can see here, the latest I've been paid is the 14th of October. The earliest I've been paid is the 12th. The final thing to view is just at the very bottom, you can see a summary of your advertising statistics as well. So that's the advertising density, how many ads you've run on your channel, uh, how many impressions you've had, how many minutes watched, uh, hours broadcast, that sort of thing. A lot of you found yourself with some extra time at home, and while tons of people spent that time learning how to bake bread, which is awesome by the way, hundreds of thousands of you use that time to reach affiliate status. This is a big accomplishment and such a great way to focus, get creative, and do some good during the pandemic. This year, 550,000 streamers earned affiliate status. And in that same time, we added over 8,500 new partners. Finally, just regards to partner numbers and affiliate numbers, I want to talk a little bit about the actual active partners. In quarter three, 2020, at least 10.2 million people have streamed at least once. 31,000 of those were partners. 921,000 of those were affiliates. And as he puts it, 9.2 million of them are plebs. Now, that's really interesting. We're basically saying here that of all the people that stream on Twitch, only less than 10% of them are monetized. If you reach affiliate status, congratulations, you're already doing better than around about 91% of all the other people on Twitch. And this is the active people, not just the people that have been awarded and perhaps might not be active anymore. I don't know about you, but this gives me some hope because 31,000 partners in Q3. So that's the three month period where only 31,000 partners have gone live. That's still very competitive, but gives me some hope that if I reach partner, you really are getting towards the very top small percentages of Twitch. And you're likely then to be able to turn this into a career long term. Although hitting partner really is the first step on becoming a full time streamer. We can't make any bones about this. It's still very, very difficult to make income from streaming, particularly in the first six to 12 months. It takes many years to get to a level where you're going to be able to make a lot of income from this or even an acceptable level of income. Finally, I'm just going to talk about how much you actually get paid of the revenue that you've earned. Now, on a pound for pound basis, a dollar to dollar basis, what Twitch says you will get paid, you will get paid. Things to just be mindful of is Amazon's already taken the processing fees out of your revenue at this point. So these are payment processing fees by the pay payment processing companies. They've taken their own share out of it for running the platform and profit. Remember, they are a company. They are a for profit business, the biggest one in the world. I mean, they are literally the biggest company in the world. Twitch isn't, but they're just one tiny division of Amazon and Amazon's taking over the world. Bezos could literally give me 1% of his net worth and I would be a billionaire. <laughs> this is so you do get 100% of it. You may see a slight drop in value from what it says on your statement within the dashboard and what you actually receive in your account. Some of that could be currency conversion if you're not actually receiving the money in dollars. Me personally, I receive the money in pounds into my bank account. You may also see just a slight drop from the processing fees as well. Uh, in my experience, this isn't much more than a couple of percent. And that's quite standard across e-commerce throughout the world as well. Except if you're PayPal uh, and they just take a lot more because of PayPal. Hopefully I've given you some really useful information, given you a deep dive into what to expect when you are an affiliate, some things to aim for to be partner, some realistic expectations in terms of the revenue that you can earn. I don't think I've done particularly well or badly. I think I've probably been fairly down the middle. You now know a lot more than what you did before you clicked on this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Check me out at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana and have a wonderful day.